Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to find out which SQL Server agent jobs are running at the moment and the ways that we're going to use in order to find which SQL Server agent jobs are running at the moment are number one, using SQL Server Object Explorer Detail, number two, using Job Activity Monitor, number three, using our T-SQL script, and we'll also be looking at some store procedure uh, related to jobs uh, in MSDB. So let's go ahead and take a look. I am connected using SQL Server Management Studio. This is my SQL Server instance right here, SQL Test. And in order to use our first method to look at Object Explorer Detail, if you don't have Object Explorer Detail, you can click on View and click on Object Explorer Details. Or you can press F7 and you will see that. So in order to go and look at currently running job in SQL Server using this way, you need to expand SQL Server Agent and you need to click on jobs. Uh, keep in mind that if, if, you, if you look at the job tab right here and plus sign, you can expand this. This will only show you the job names, but uh, it will not show you the status. If you wanted to know the status of these jobs, you need to click on jobs and right here, it'll show you all the job names and uh, status right here. Right now they are not running but if it's executing or if it's uh, in progress it'll show right here the status, the currently running status of the job executing or running. So this is one way that we can find out that um, you know what jobs are running at the moment. So the next thing we need to do is that we can also find out the same thing uh, using our job activity monitor. If you double click on job activity monitor, you will notice right here the job names, uh, right here enable or disable, and status right here. If it's running at the moment, the status will be up here running or in progress or whatever the status is that that would tell you that uh, basically job is running at the moment. So this is the second way that you can find out that uh, if any job is running on your SQL Server instance at the moment. And let's go ahead basically enable a schedule, um, one of the schedule of the job here and uh, that would right here back up all DB. I'm going to go ahead this is my uh, schedule right here and right now it's disabled. I'm going to go ahead and enable this schedule so that we can see what status we see using both ways. So let's go ahead and uh, click OK. It's go going to run every 10 seconds. So let's go ahead, click OK, and click OK. And you can go ahead and refresh it from here, basically, to check the status. As you can see, the status changed from ex uh, from not running to executing. So this is using first method, object explorer detail. So let's go ahead and take a look on uh, job activity monitor. And you can click on fresh, refresh right here, and it'll show the status. So as you can see right here, it's running every 10 seconds executing. So let's go ahead and uh, close this we found the two ways that work for us to find if the job is executing at the moment. Let's go ahead, load our script and find out from there. If any job is running, so here's my script and basically I'm using two views right here. One is sysjobs and other is sysjobactivity and what I'm doing right here in where clause, if you seeing right here, if they these two columns are not null, that means the job is running. These two columns are run underscore requested underscore date and stop underscore execution underscore uh, uh, date. If these are, if uh, I'm sorry, the first column is not null and stop execution underscore date is null, then that means that uh, the job is basically running at the moment. So that's all I'm doing. You can go ahead and basically look all the information in sys job activity and uh, sys jobs right here and uh, the job ID are same. That's why I'm joining right here where um, uh, sys job uh, job ID is equal to sys job activity uh, job ID. So let's go ahead and run this. As you can see, if you get any output using this script, that means that particular job is running. So 
I, we have a job as, as we saw that runs every 10 seconds just for the demo purposes. So I'm going to go ahead and execute it again and we, d we didn't get any output. The reason because none of the job is running at the moment. So now every 10 seconds it runs the next time we refreshed it and it gave us the, the job that is running. You can also go ahead and add the column that if you get the output then go ahead and uh, add a column up here saying that it's executing or in progress or whatever you want to call it. So this is basically um, our third way to find out if the job on your SQL Server instance is running at the moment. So let's keep refreshing. Here it is again, it's running. Uh, so the last option up here that we need to look at is in MSDB uh, database. We're, we're going to, I'm, I'm just going to show you some of the very useful store procedure related to jobs. If you wanted to look into those and find other parameters rather than just the status of the job, those uh, store procedures are really very helpful. So I thought that I'll go ahead and show it to you. So if you have your own store procedure, it'll show it right here, but we're going to go ahead and go in system store procedures. So expand the system store procedures, go all the way down right here and go into the help. And if you look at right here in help underscore job, right here is sp underscore help job activity. This will show you just the activity and the status is basically in uh, integer and you can change that. You can manipulate however you want to the output of this or you can modify these uh, uh, store procedure and do it whatever you need to do. So these are, uh, these are the store procedure I wanted to show you that these are very helpful and um, as the name suggested help and it really gives some valuable information and basically this is it this is how you find out which SQL Server agent job are running at the moment and uh, we looked at object explorer detail job activity monitor T-SQL and we also looked at some uh, related store procedure job related store procedures so I hope this video helps